Hey guys, Mike Adleski here, uh, doing a video, this isn't really a Q&A video, it's a theme Q&A video, I guess, uh, this is one weird trick, trainers hate him, you just have to sign up to, for, to, for me to be your fucking beach body coach, or, uh, you know, you gotta buy all my herbal life, uh, that's one weird trick, it's gonna cost you about $400, in uh, in uh, the videotapes and CDs where you learn how to sell. So you're going to own your own supplement company once you... Ah, fuck. All right. I can't even I can't even fake doing that for a long... Any, any significant period of time. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is kind of a theme of a lot of questions that I've got. Uh, just, just stuff I've received on just technique mastery, I, I guess, uh, just just when, how long it takes under the bar to become proficient at something, you, you know, this, this really applies to a lot of individual uh, strength sports, like strongman, weightlifting, powerlifting, and stuff like that, and there, there seems to be a general consensus of anyone that's any fucking good at anything, that it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill or to be considered a professional in whatever whatever your craft is. So, 10,000 hours. So, figuring that out, I, I fucking hate math, so I'm going to screw this up about a thousand times. Just, just bear with me here. Uh, figuring that out, 10,000 hours. If you read or practice something one hour a day, it takes you seven years to accrue that 10,000 hours. I mean, that's that's a long ass time. You think about like when people go to medical school, you know, if you, someone wants to be a fucking doctor, it takes what, seven, nine years, 10 years, something like that, somewhere in that time frame. But the, this, this, this plays quite a different, uh, uh, it, it's, this is very hard when you consider strength sports, when you consider powerlifting, weightlifting, anything like that, strong man, because you know, if, if you're going and you're playing fucking soccer, you know, you can pretty much chalk up every second you're kicking the ball around to your ten, to accruing your 10,000 hours of sport mastery. But with weightlifting, with powerlifting, I, I looked this up. I don't know how accurate this is, but we're just, I wanted to find some standardized numbers to, to base this off of. So I use powerlifting because that's what I do, uh, mainly anyway. But so one one rep, one heavy rep can take anywhere from three to six seconds. You know, that that is your, that one rep, that three to six seconds, you are building that sport mastery one rep at a time. So I took the average of that, and this is wildly depressing when you think about it. So if, I mean, if you, if you don't want to be just bummed out to no fucking end, I would suggest just canceling this. And, uh, you know, going back and looking at some, like, uh, I don't know, the Hodge twins or something. I'm sure they have something upbeat to talk about uh, and whatever the fuck they talk about. I've never watched one of those. I don't know. Um, so let's take 4.5 seconds per rep. 4.5 seconds per rep doing a popular set and rep scheme like 5x5. Five five. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd pick something just... You know, something general, I guarantee about 75% of people that lift weight seriously are following some kind of set and rep scheme, like a 3x3, three three, a 5x5, five five, something like that. But uh, anyway, 4.5 seconds per rep is 22.5 seconds per set, which puts you at 112.5 seconds per session. That is one 5x5 five five session, which puts you at 1 minute and 52 seconds for your squat, your bench, or your deadlift using powerlifting 5x5. Five five. That's not a lot of time for one fucking session. Like, that's not a lot. So, I didn't really consider that realistic. I bumped it down a little bit, and I ran some numbers for three seconds per rep, you know, in regards to accumulating your 10,000 hours. So... This is, this is unbelievable to me when, when you really think about this in the scheme of things. So let's say three seconds per rep is 15 seconds per one set of five. So when you multiply that by five, it's 75 seconds per session, which is only one minute and 15 seconds. So again, like I said before, if you practice something one hour every day, it takes you seven years to be considered a professional or a master or an expert 
at that at that one thing that you practice for one hour every single day. So you know how many five by five sets you would have to do in one day for it to accumulate to one hour of actual time under the bar lifting the weight in a position practicing technique. You would have to do 48 fucking sets for that to accumulate to one hour. Not, not 48 sets of five, 48 rounds of five sets of five for that to be one hour under the bar. So if you do that one hour every day, seven years later, you're a world fucking champion, supposedly, if you could stay healthy somehow doing insane shit like that to yourself. So, total, total, you have to do 480,000 five by five workouts to master one skill. That's not even all three of them put together. That is 480,000 five by five schemed workouts for squat, then for bench, then for deadlift. So that's just one. That's one thing. I mean, weightlifting, it's it's a little bit easier if you think about it because you're only doing two fucking lifts in a competition. Powerlifting, it's three. So, and strong man, you don't even know what the fuck you're doing until three months out. So, I mean, it just... It's, I've been just reading a lot of stuff. A lot of the stuff pops up on the internet. Uh, like the trainers hate him, and one weird trick muscle hack to get into the matrix of fucking Morpheus growth. I, I don't know. Like it, all, everything is bullshit. Every single thing is bullshit. There's no quick trick. There's no scheme for muscle growth. I mean, it, true. Like when you do anything, when you're first getting started. You're going to have tons and tons of, of gains almost immediately with pretty much anything that you do as long as you stick to some kind of structured plan for, for a little while. But I mean, it's all neurological adaptations, just your nervous system starts to fire a little bit better. You start like innervating some different things and you know, you start just your, your inter and intramuscular efficiency just kind of starts coordinating a little bit better. But you know, it, I mean, just it takes time. It's time, and I, I've really been thinking about this stuff a lot because I'm coming up on my my 14 year training for something anniversary. I, I mean, you know, that's double the seven years, and I'm not fucking good at anything yet. You know, like uh, whether training for football, lacrosse, and now powerlifting, and I just did a moss wrestling uh, competition. I want to get into some strongman stuff as well. Like there, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff I want to do, but I mean, it's just. You know, if you, if you don't specialize in something when you're in fucking kindergarten, odds are you're never going to be good at it. It's, it's crazy. It is crazy to think about this shit. Like, I mean, even, so say say you do, here, here you go, say you do two, you pick two movements to do for your five by five stuff. Uh, you know, that's, that's two minutes and 30 seconds. Say you do a squat and then a bench for five sets of five, figuring with that three seconds per rep scheme. I was talking about before. So, following a three minute rest interval, which I figure is about average for most people, me personally, I go from anywhere from five to whenever the fuck I start to feel better because it does, I don't think it fucking matters. But, you know, let's say a three minute rest interval, that's 30 minutes just for two exercises. I mean, people have jobs, other, I mean, families, classes, other shit to do other than being a bro in the gym and it. You know, you really, you really got to consider what you're doing when you're in there and with the time you have allotted. And most people only have an hour a day to go to the gym. If that, an hour three times a week to go to the gym. When you think about accumulating this 10,000 hours, it, it's crazy. Like, it is crazy. Like, five, by, five sets of five is fucking stupid. Unless you're doing it seven times a week. You know, uh, and basically, if you're not going into the gym every single day and doing something, like just getting under a bar and doing sets of 50 to 100, just going through the motions of the lifts every single day, you're you're never going to be any good at it. Like, it, it it's crazy. It's just, and I, I mean, I'm not talking like, 
you know, number one big swing and dick at your gym. I'm talking about like world champion, like elite, like these these higher echelon of just unbelievable, like unbelievable just athlete, like just unbelievable athletic specimens and stuff. That's all I give a shit about anyway. I mean, if you're if you're cool being, you know, coolest fucking guy at, you know, I, I, I don't know, podunk fucking gold gym, that's, that's cool if that's whatever your goal is, but, you know, I, don't talk to me about anything. Uh, so, I, I mean, I, I just really, really what sparked this, it, it, like I said, just all this internet stuff, like uh, muscle hacks and all this shit, and then I read the Lillibridge method, which was the shittiest thing. Thank God I got it sent to me for free. If I would have paid $40 for that, I would have gone to their house and burned it to the fucking ground. Anyone that paid money for that should demand their money back because keep in mind this 10,000 hours. This is for normal, you know, non-drug assisted human beings, which even even with steroids and all the other shit that's out there, like you, you still have to accumulate this time, and this shit doesn't magically happen, but with all this in mind, reading that piece of shit book, you know, the squat cycles it recommends, you squat heavy twice a month for one set at a time for max reps at a given percentage. When the fuck do you have time to be good at something? Like, that? that is unbelievable. That is unbelievable to me that they're trying to sell that as something that they they have done to get strong in the first place. That is total fucking bullshit. But that, that I mean that's just one example of of a million. Like I said, even five by five, even that's stupid. You know, if you consider actually accumulating the volume and the hours that you need to be to be good at this. Uh, I'm not saying you should go to the gym every day and y- you know like put on light weights and do them for an hour straight or anything like this needs to be practiced under heavy weights i mean competition is under heavy weights not a competition isn't who can do you know 70 to 80 percent the best it's who can like lift the fucking most and do the most so i I don't know i'm kind kind of more of a rant than anything in this video I, i hope this stuff makes sense um just, just think about the stuff you're doing. Like, think about what you can do to accumulate that 10,000 hours under the bar practicing the specific skills of what you want to get better at. I mean, if it's just, uh, I want to get bigger, I want to get stronger, or whatever, with no real goal or anything, like, no real, like, you don't want to compete or anything like that, your options are wide open. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. But, I mean, if you, like, say you've done a couple of powerlifting, a couple of weightlifting, a couple of strongman competitions, something like that, and you're, you feel like you're pretty proficient at it, well, mastering that is fucking complicated. It, it, it takes a while. I mean, you ask anybody that's ever been good at anything, and, and they'll just tell you, you know, you, got, you have to be a serial killer. It has to be a straight fucking line from from start to finish and whatever finishes for you i i don't know i don't even it's it i got all fired up thinking about this stuff today so just you know so my my one weird muscle trick to increase all your strength by 105 percent and you know you, testosterone to the point where it jumps out of your balls and becomes a sentient being and like starts cooking steaks and banging your girlfriend and stuff like <laughs> My, my one weird muscle trick is if you make a decision to start something and stick with it for an incredible portion of your life, most of your life, like you, you have to just pick something and let it fucking destroy you for the most part. Uh, like that, that, that's the only way you're going to be good at anything and anything that's worth doing anyway. I mean, a lot of people just get jobs and support their families and stuff and, you know, take take kind of the easy way out, I guess. I mean, that, that's cool and everything, but, like, if you if you want to do something different, and I'm, I'm learning that now, like, trying to get all kinds of shit together, but, it, you know, it just, it takes time. It takes time and commitment, and it takes just, just fucking, just everything you've got. And, uh, you read the shit people put on the internet, 
and it's just half-assed, just goddamn malaise of information, just recycled, fucking thrown up, regurgitated, and someone else wrote it, and let me tell you why CrossFit's bad to me this week, let me tell you why, uh, you know, what, what a power lifter can do, uh, that, that they can learn from a bodybuilder doing this stuff, and why single leg training's a thing, and if you aren't practicing what you're competing in a lot, you're fucked. That, that's, that's the general, that, that's the moral of the story here that I was trying to get at. So, again, like, I don't know if this makes a whole lot of sense to a lot of people. Like, guys who are in my position in kind of that intermediate to elite area, it's just going to make a whole lot of sense. Like, novices, I mean, you guys are probably watching, listening to this on your fucking iPod while you're slamming hammer curls in front of the mirror or something because that's important uh, i don't know it's 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 hard to, it's hard to even say what's important when you think about the amount of time you need to put into it for it to be something i mean really if i if i you, you consider other countries i mean look at china they do bone mineral density scans on kids that they consider would be good for their athletic programs you know if you have a low bone mineral density when you're eight years old, all that means is you go to fucking swimming school. If you have a high mineral, bone mineral density, you go to fucking weightlifting school, and then you get paid while you go to school. Or, you know, you go to the Olympics and don't win a medal, and you get thrown in the fucking salt mines or something with the rest of your family to work for the rest of your life. That's awesome. That is awesome. I remember reading about the, uh, I think it was the North Korean soccer team they fielded, spent billions of dollars training, built a training center, like all this other stuff, this was in the Olympics uh, a, a decade ago. I don't, I don't even really remember when it was. Uh, they lost. They didn't, even, they didn't even get a medal after they spent after North Korea spent all this money on them. And you know, they they went home. Them when when they got back, their whole family, every single member of the team, their entire living family, was now working in a fucking salt mine for the government. So then. They all got back and had to go work in the mines because they, they practice all this stuff and lost. That's fucking awesome as far as I'm concerned. So, I, I don't know. Not that that needs to be your motivation for getting a bigger bench press or anything like that. But, anyway. Alright, rant over. I'm done. I talked way too much about this than I wanted to. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Open for more questions, by the way. I'm almost through the original batch of Q&A questions. I might get to those today. I'm procrastinating, unpacking a bunch of shit in my new house here. Uh, so that's why I just wanted to throw this up, because it was, it was bothering me, and I was getting bored of packing. So I uh, hope everyone has a good one, and I will catch you next time. I didn't stop the video yet.